We would be honored if you would join us. Hey, Star Wars fans and everyone out there. I hope you've all had a fantastic May the 4th and May the 5th weekend. Just wanted to do a little video today just to go over the new reveals from Hasbro Pulse fan stream just the other day, May the 4th, obviously. Good day for it. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a couple of Black Series reveals, uh, some vintage collection pipeline stuff. Uh, they did announce early last week that the, the Hasbro HasLab, Hasbro Pulse HasLab um, the new HasLab was going to be postponed just a little bit, which is fine. It's fine. No need to be, no need to panic everyone. They just want to, uh, iron out all the kinks, make sure this thing's going to be good to go. Uh, but yeah, just to kick off, we did get a look at the mock-up of the box for the ghost. Looks pretty damn snazzy. No idea where this thing's going to go. I need to buy a bigger house. So I thought we just continue on with the three and three quarter inch scale and we're getting another retro box set, much like the Phantom Menace one that has just been released. Still have yet to pick up. I'm a couple of waves of retro behind. Um, I keep saying I'm out of the retro game and I keep buying them. These ones are definitely going to be coming home with me when they're released. I kind of wish they'd done what they did with the Phantom Menace and released an Attack of the Clones box. And then a Revenge of the Sith box set with six figures in each. That would have been a lot nicer, I think. A lot more appealing. Um, a better range of characters would have come through, I think. Not that these are bad characters. They're probably good representations. So we've got Mace Windu using the same card back as before. The figure looks... It looks like Mace. Uh, Padme Amidala is the one that is up next. And I dare say this is where we're going to see the re-release of that three and three quarter inch Black Series figure from... Uh, yeah, from years ago, coming out on that card. We've got Django Fett, who has just had a deluxe release um, in the Vintage Collection. Uh, reading Attack of the Clones, or Revenge of the Sith. We're getting Anakin Skywalker on that classic Revenge of the Sith card. Yeah, that looks like Anakin to me. We've got General Grievous, which is an interesting one. I'd love to see a re-release of Grievous on a Vintage card, but that one looks like General Grievous. And then rounding out with a Phase 2 clone, using that classic... Revenge of the Sith uh, clone, uh, Phase 2 clone card. Also revealed for the Vintage Collection is a new Hasbro Pulse 4-pack of Rebel Pilots, which looks absolutely fantastic. These 4-packs are starting to hit Australia through Zing Pop Culture and EB Games, so stay tuned for them if you're down here in Australia. We have previously missed out, but we're starting to get them now. This pack looks absolutely fantastic. I love the, the, blue, the blue Duros alien there. <laughs> it looks so good. And we're kicking straight off into Black Series with another beautiful looking two-pack. It is Commander Gree with Yoda from the prequels, finally. A prequel Yoda in Black Series, something I've been looking forward to for a very long time. And a nice version of Commander Gree in his pre-sort of camouflage armor. I love that Yoda is coming with his little Jedi Council chair too. Um, yeah, this is undoubtedly a fantastic release. Really looking forward to seeing how this shows up in person. Um, yeah, definitely on my list. And sticking with the prequel theme, we're getting a single release of the B2 Super Battle Droid, which, for those who haven't seen my review, it's an absolute banging figure. Looking forward to getting a couple more of these for sure. Oh man, it's such a great figure. Definitely recommend this one. Go pick one up. Um, yeah, this one's, this is a good one. And another beautiful looking two-pack, which I couldn't track down the, uh, the, Singular images, so they're all sort of compiled into one picture here. Clone uh, Captain Enoch and the Night Trooper from the Ahsoka series. Uh, yeah, this is a cool set, man. This is cool. I uh, kind of thought Enoch would be a separate pack and then maybe two different Night Troopers so we can mix them all together. Um, still, I'm going to buy it, like the silly person I am. I'm not silly, I just I like Star Wars. And that's why I do this. So yeah, I'll be buying this pack. <laughs> Now, here's a pack they could have marketed, or they have marketed it for the 25th anniversary of The Phantom Menace. What a banger of a pack, especially if you don't have that Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon. I think most of us have got the Qui-Gon and the old Maul. Um, you know, even the original Darth Maul. This is an all-new Darth Maul, by the way. All new. Fantastic. One of the very first... He was the very first figure that I got in the Black Series. 
And the episode one Obi Wan actually goes for a goes for a pretty solid price these days on the second hand market. He was only sort of given one release and then the twentieth anniversary release as well. So with the soft good robe, this is going to be a good pack for some people to pick up. I dare say Darth Maul will absolutely be getting a single release at some stage, whether or not he'll include all those goodies that uh, he comes with here. We'll have to wait and see, but. Yeah, this is a good pack, guys. Yeah, get those, get on those three nice and quick. And this final reveal for the Black Series is the creme de la creme for me. Darth Sidious, Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith. Finally getting a getting a figure in that line, that sort of orange-style box. I thought it might have been a little bit more of a red, perhaps, but we're going to go with it. I'm going to throw the box in the bin and play with the figure anyway, so... It comes with lightning hands, soft goods, the stitching and fabric of the quality of this work looks absolutely unreal. Yeah, and this is going to be a perfect counterpart for the Yoda we just sort of spoke about before. Being able to do that Senate duel, you know, if we can uh, get someone to 3D model a Senate pod, that could be a very, very cool display piece. But yeah, blown away, we've been looking forward to a good Darth Sidious for a long time. And this is it. This is... The creme de la creme for this week's re reveals for me. We'll take a look at um, Pipelines next. So Pipeline for the Vintage Collection, we have Anakin Skywalker based on his appearance from Ahsoka and those sort of beautiful, wonderful flashback scenes that I can't get out of my skull. I hope they never leave. Um, yeah, interested to see whether they do a complete new updated figure. It needs it. I love that old Clone Wars Anakin, but... If you're going to go show some love to Anakin now, do us a fresh one. Ball jointed hips, all that good stuff. Um, a four pack of Shriek, Haw Shriek Hawk Mandalorians. Now that's going to be a cool pack. It's going to be a nice change from all the blue ones we've been getting. And the Armor of Forge playset, which is something that, uh, that sort of took me by surprise a little bit. I wasn't expecting wasn't expecting another playset. They, we uh, just got announced, uh, pipelined the Moff Gideon Hallway. Um, but yeah, Armour of Forge, interested to see how that turns out, um, that'll be a cool little display scene for my Mando shelf, so let's see what happens there. And for Black Series, we've got a Rebel Fleet Trooper and Stormtrooper 2-pack, these are going to be those, those fresh new army building 2-packs, they're a little bit, little bit cheaper, uh, Hasbro Pulse and Disney Store exclusive, a brand new Luke Skywalker and Princess Leia from A New Hope, much needed, got to be a Han Solo on the way, right? And from Star Wars Jedi Survivor, Dagon Gara, the High Republic Jedi who is brought into the current era, becomes a villain, basically the main villain of Jedi Survivor. That is an interesting call. I'm excited for that one. Dagon, he was a, he was a really cool character. Looking forward to seeing how they'll portray him with one arm, even though he's a one arm figure, whether he'll get a... Uh, a, a translucent ghost arm. <laughs> we'll see. Um, yeah, really excited for these pipeline reveals. Luke and Leia, man. Got to be fresh. Looking forward to those. Um, but yeah, got to be Han Solo coming next too. Let's do it. Come on, Hasbro. And with all that being said, I'm excited about some of these reveals. There's oh, all of these reveals. Really looking forward to uh, more more news about the ghost as it releases later in this year. We'll also find out more about Hasbro's HasLab, next HasLab project uh, for the Vintage Collection, hopefully soon. Um, There's a lot of debate about what's going on there. Um, I think just let them take their time. It's a process. Don't panic. It's nothing to stress about. I'd rather show it rather than wait and be able to show us a definitive look at something rather than something that's not quite ready yet. Because uh, no doubt they'll get criticism for it anyway. <laughs> uh, thank you for tuning in I appreciate it I just wanted to get some thoughts about these figures out there I hope you've enjoyed tuning along and uh, see you again for some more videos very soon until then may the force be with you always